Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right, Tyler, kick us off. Cool. Uh, hey, Tyler ESPN, this is for Jensen. Obviously, there's been a lot of you know talk back and forth between, obviously, former C9 mid laner. Uh, during the fourth game, C9 tweeted out, uh, finally, Jensen has won us uh, LCS title. Now that you you know came back, won game four, won game five, beat your old team to win another title, do you have anything to say? <laughs> I mean, I know it's just banner, like they want to be funny, so I don't really think about it too much. But uh, I mean, it feels good to beat my former team. I think if I were to lose, I don't know, everyone would just hate me, I feel like. So I'm glad we were able to win. <laughs> Uh, Joe, Sloan, Checkpoint, XP, the question's for Double Lift. Uh, obviously, four straight LCS titles, dominance that we haven't seen here in North America yet. How does it feel? Uh, it feels, <coughs> feels great. Um, I mean, Impact and Impact they also won four in a row. But, um, yeah, like, Team Liquid used to be a joke of a team. Zero fans, um, <laughs> terrible, terrible, almost almost relegated. It's true, it's true. I mean, let's let's be honest here. Um, so I'm really happy to have turned it around, or like been a part of helping turn it around. I think everyone worked super hard for it, and uh, yeah, like it. When I when I got kicked off TSM, I was like, oh no, it's uh, it might be over. Like I might never win again. But um, turns out Team Liquid was an amazing team and a great choice. All right, this one is also for Double Lift. Oh, uh, Robert Haynes with the Game House. Um, you said you wanted some competition. Was this the kind of competition that you were hoping for? Yeah, I think if you, like last year we 3 0 both finals, and it was like, I was happy for sure, but it didn't feel great because um, the matches weren't very close. And then when we came back, like after 0 2 against TSM, and now like we were down 1 2 against C9, like those finals feel really good because you know it was really close. So, like, maybe like one play that you did had an effect on the whole series, just like individually, or like one play your teammate made, like changed the whole series. And that feels really nice because like all the practice you put in the whole year, I guess it feels like it paid off. Uh, Nick Ray with Upcomer. Uh, I have a question for Impact. Uh, in an interview you did with us, you said that you had a special pick prepared for uh, playoffs. Was that pick Shen? Uh, not me. I team, I team secretly face Shen, but I don't want actually because the champion week. But <laughs> that situation is really good, so I say I'm down to pick. I mean, I have another secret pick, but that situation. So. <laughs> Nick Dracy, Inman Global. This question's for Double Lift. Uh, at your last finals press conference, you said that you're feeling like. Oh man, I have all these these uh these trophies. I almost feel like you know I'd rather be the guy trying to win a bunch. I feel like you're turning in the wrong direction here. So how are you feeling after this after this uh, subsequent championship? Yeah, I think winning more is honestly not super important. But like, if somebody does beat us in the finals, or if someone beats us in playoffs, like they have to deserve it. So it's not like I'm not trying because. Um, yeah, it, it, would, it would just feel bad to see the other team celebrating a win. But, I mean, I, I will be honest. Like, I'm, th this seventh win is not nearly as, like, important to my life as, like, the first win. So, yeah, like, you just have to find, like, other sources of motivation, you know, like, like first seed. Actually, like, because we played well at MSI, the first seed actually matters this year. And locking the first seed might be the difference of, like, making out of groups. So there's, like, a, there's, like, a lot of things at play not just winning domestically. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say I want to lose, but I want our region to be strong so we can be a strong team. Thank you. You want to pass the name? Adam Nick? <laughs> Question for Zayn Von Sully, Cheddar Esports. Questions for Jensen. Uh, we just heard Double Lift say that, you know, seven, now it doesn't mean a big deal. You spent a long time looking for titles, and now that you are winning them, do you still have that hunger to win as many as possible, or are you starting to look past winning titles as well? <laughs> no, I definitely still have the hunger. I mean, to me, it's more just about, like, changing the narrative around me. Like, you know, basically my whole career, I was a player that would always finish second, never really able to achieve anything great, you know, always, like, in the shadow of Bjergsen. So, you know, now I feel like I'm kind of creating a legacy for myself where it's like, you know, I'm the guy who's winning everything, and that's that's kind of the direction I want to keep going, at least for now. So 
every win is super important, and I'm super glad we were able to win today. Hey, it's Travis. Uh, this is for Dodo and Kane. In the previous press conference, Reaper confirmed that uh, North America would not be boot camping in Korea this year and instead would be boot camping in Europe. Uh, and I'm kind of curious about how you planning or how you plan on approaching that, especially given that LEC isn't wrapping this weekend. Yes, yeah, so uh, in this year, World is, Worlds is happening in Europe. So I think a lot of teams are actually going to Europe. And uh, I did contact some European teams, and they are staying in Europe for the boot camp. So uh, <clears throat> I think it just made sense to, for us to go to Europe this time. Uh, obviously, the time difference, and as well as we could scrim in the better region. And <clears throat> uh, I believe China and Korea is staying in China and Korea. So this Worlds will be East versus West. How, how does that work out? Sorry, how does that work out from a timing perspective, right? Because you have, it sounds like there's a couple of weeks off, maybe. Yes, yeah, so we will definitely have uh, like a week or two weeks off, and then we will be going to Europe uh, a few weeks later, and then we'll, we'll be boot camping in Europe for, I think, three weeks, and then we'll be, we'll be ready for Worlds. Hey, uh, Tyler Gamer, me, and this is for Double Lift. Uh, now, looking at the gauntlet, we have TSM. Clutch Gaming, CLG, and FlyQuest. Don't forget about FlyQuest. Uh, who would your uh, prediction be for to make it out of the gauntlet? Uh, wow. I actually have no idea. Um, honestly, I'd say it's like a coin. FlyQuest, no chance. Um, I'd say it's like a coin toss, a, tri a triple coin toss between CG, CLG, and TSM. <clears throat> um, Ah, oh, it's so hard to say. If I had to put money on one, maybe clutch. Nick Jeracy, Inman Global. Question for Jensen. Um, at your last your last final against TSM, you guys won. It's the first title of your career. People were like, oh, you know, Team Liquid's really good as a team. This time you beat your former team and had a great performance in game five. Does, does, does the significance of this title, even though it's the second one, still mean as much to you as the first one? Um, I wouldn't say the title itself mean as much, but I would say the fact that it was against C9 meant a lot because, I don't know, I feel like if I were to lose to Cloud9, like, everyone would just say I made the wrong choice or, you know, Niski was the better mid laner and, I don't know, I feel like I'm already getting, like, a lot of hate from, like, Cloud9 fans who are just really salty towards me and just in general, so I was just, I'm just really happy that we were able to win today so that, you know, people won't go after me too much. Thanks. Uh, Joe with Checkpoint, uh, question for X Smithy. Uh, obviously, at MSI, amazing moment versus Invictus, and then tough day against uh, G2. Is there an element as we move towards Worlds of hoping to get another crack at G2 Esports, or is it just kind of going there and one team at a time? Um, I think I don't think we have like a like a rivalry or like a hard focus on G2. I think we're just mainly focusing on our team specifically since. Um, like, even before MSI, like, our international performance wasn't really that well. Like, it went well at all. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think we're just focusing on, on how we should practice against international teams because I think, like, North American teams are just not as good as, like, other regions. Chris Bilski, Jinx TV. My question's for Steve. Um, as an organization, you've experienced success across multiple titles, Counter-Strike, uh, Dota now four titles in a row here in League of Legends. Can you pinpoint a decision or a moment that started to create this culture of success? Um, yeah, it's actually pretty exciting. I mean, we had an opportunity to win the international this morning, came very close, which was awesome. And we'll have a chance to win the major here in a couple of weeks in Counter Strike. Uh, and I don't think there's another esports organization that even comes close to the level of success that we've been able to achieve. Uh, if I had to point out one thing, um, I would say just like a commitment to winning. And it just bleeds throughout the entire organization. I think you've seen some other esports orgs that have kind of faltered a bit because their investors like lose confidence, right? They're, they're putting capital to work and they're not seeing the return on that. They're not seeing success and they're pulling out, right? Um, for us, winning is the most important thing. We're, we're in it for the long haul and we're here to create a legacy. And that's gonna take capital and commitment and passion and we're all aligned on winning. That's the most important thing.
Hey, Tyler, uh, this is for Core JJ. Um, you are obviously going to Worlds, but sadly, uh, your former team, Gen G, was recently eliminated from the LCK and no chance to go to Worlds. Uh, do you have anything you want to say to your former teammates? Uh, maybe uh, opposite to Jensen, I think I believe Gen G fans still love me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I hope we can meet next next or. Uh, Nick Ray, Upcomer. This is a question for X Smithy. Um, you were the only member of your team who didn't make the first All Pro team, uh, and today you just beat the guy who did, Sven Skaren. Um, do you think that you deserve to be there, and how do you think you'll match up against other junglers at Worlds? Um, I think Sven actually played really well, especially this split, and I think he deserved it. Um, I don't think C and I would have been <clears throat> second place, um, but not for him. So props to him. Um, for, I didn't really hold any grudge to him, especially this um, match. Um, it was just like, uh, it was just like my team just played really well. So. Uh, this question is also for Smithy. Uh, a short time ago, your coaches confirmed you'll have a couple of weeks off, and I was just kind of curious how you were planning on spending that free time. <laughs> Probably go to a vacation to Europe early so I can play solo queue. <laughs> Nick Tracy and Ben Global, questions for Double Lift. Um, excuse me, sorry about that. Question for Double Lift. Previous world qualifications over the last couple of years, you've either not gone to MSI beforehand or haven't really uh, performed your standard MSI, whereas this year you did. Um, has that changed, subconsciously changed your, your approach to worlds mentally at all? Um, I mean, I'd give myself like a passing grade for the last, last MSI and last Worlds, 2018 Worlds, and, and the MSI before that, so, um, I don't think I played like amazing, I think I had some really bad games where I ran it down, and then I had some pretty good games where I was like playing well and carrying, so, it's like a big contrast, I guess, since I joined TL, because Every time I went with like CLG and TSM, it wasn't it wasn't like the team's fault. It was just like I wasn't playing as well as I wanted to, um, or at least now I'm not playing as well as I w wanted to. But like I'm closer to it, I guess. So yeah, it feels really nice, and it also feels good that like we set up our the better first seed for ourselves, and then we got the first seed um, this year. So maybe that'll have an effect on how far we make it. Thanks. Chris Bilski, Jinx TV. My question's for Jensen. Um, the experience of going down 0-2 in the spring finals, how did that help you move forward in this finals? Um, I've been playing for like four years now, and I've been in a lot of 0-2 situations and a lot of reverse sweep situations in general. So I'm getting pretty comfortable with it. Um, it's obviously a bit different of an experience when it happens in playoffs, but um, I don't know. It was different back then because... I felt like when we were down 0-2 against TSM that we were just losing because we were making some really, really bad decisions. And yeah, this time around, like when we were down 1-2 against Cloud9, I was like, whoa, like they're actually playing a lot better than I thought. Like, so it, it just felt different this time around, honestly. Like I was more worried this time around when we were down 1-2 against C9 than when we were down 0-2 against TSM. I just felt like Cloud9 actually could beat us where like when we were down 0-2 against TSM, like I kind of just had a feeling we were going to win that we were the better team. Uh, Nick Butts with the Game House. This is for X Smithy. Um, who on Cloud9 were you uh, most worried about facing, and how did you go about preparing to shut them down? Um, I think it's more of like Miski and <clears throat> Sven together. Um, they're always a really good like mid jungle um, synergy, and I think me and Jensen played really well, especially uh, not not all five games maybe, but it's most of it. Um, we controlled them pretty well, and yeah, I still think they're a really great um, duo. Great. Any more questions? No? Oh, last call. All right, we're done. All right, gentlemen, everyone, stand up. Thank you. Take a picture. Stand up. Push the chairs back. Everybody.
Everyone's going to get as close as possible. Who's holding the trophy? Peter, Peter, Peter and Jake hold it together. Have a moment. There you go. Good job. Right. Water bottle is clear. Perfect. You know, I have gotten so tired of the same thing happening over and over again. I have to interview Peter, he wins finals, Team Liquid does a press conference. Ugh, it's really tiresome. But you know what isn't tiresome? The great deals that you can get at Alienware.com slash Travis. By the way, Alienware support everything that we do here. Uh, we're going to be going off to PAX in just a couple days to go check out uh, TFT at their booth. Hope to see you there. Uh, it's going to be a great time. Also, they've got some cool stuff coming from uh, Intel Gamer Days in just a short time. Uh, I'm sure if you follow their social channels, you'll see some of that. They've got giveaways already going. Uh, there's an Alienware one. You can go to the uh, Team Liquid training, or sorry, Team Liquid's Alienware training facility, meet Team Liquid, uh, and during the off season. Just go check out their Twitter. There's a bunch of cool stuff you can win there, including some cool gear. Uh, thank you so much to Alienware for supporting all this content, and thank you for watching it.